Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? Johnny Depp returns to Disney. Disney has officially welcomed back Johnny Depp to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, he hasn't quite been confirmed to appear in any of the new films just yet. But he is officially back as the mascot of the ride that has been a mainstay at the Disneyland theme park since 18, I mean 1967. The Pirates of the Caribbean ride had been shut down for some refurbishment work, which included sound improvements and cleanup, which might be regarding some of the characters shown during the ride. But fans were more than pleased to reveal that Depp was back in his normal spot as Captain Jack Sparrow. If we are being honest, this refurbishment plan might have been to take out Johnny Depp had he lost his lawsuit against ex-wife Amber Heard. However, that was certainly not the case. This is just speculation, but the timing seems a bit coincidental. Many were wondering what would happen next with Disney, and they had initially projected an image of Depp in Disneyland Paris, just days after he had won his case. This led to people calling out the company, stating that Disney should be apologizing to the man, especially since they are so willing to use his image again. That's a very fair request. It is good to see the man returning to his best role, albeit with only appearing in attraction so far. Johnny Depp is going through a bit of resurgence as the public has continually backed the man up since his troubles with Heard began. Because of his huge win in the courtroom, he can now leave these huge issues behind and get back to acting. He is currently making music again as a new album with legendary rock icon Jeff Beck is set to be released. The pair have already released a single off the new album. Also, we had reported that Depp was in talks for a cameo in Pirates of the Caribbean 6, though that has yet to be confirmed. He is also set to start filming his first movie role since the trial. He will portray King Louis Louis X, XV in Gene DuBerry. Johnny Depp has stated in court that he would not return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise even for $300 million. However, that may have been because Disney was quiet about backing him up. Though he was the face of one of their most successful franchises, now that he has returned as the figurehead for the ride, that could mean that Disney has offered up their apologies and wallets for the man to return to his best role. They might have had to offer him $301 million to make it happen, but they can certainly afford it. Pirates of the Caribbean just wouldn't be the same without Johnny Depp. Although there is a film that is going to be led by Margot Robbie, who is a fantastic actress, Depp would be solely missed. Another Pirates spinoff film is said to be eyeing Dwayne Johnson as well, but we would love to see Depp appear in that as well. Either way, we're all hoping to see Depp return to his best role, period. Now, th this is the thing. It, Johnny Depp, you guys didn't support him in the public eye. You guys basically weren't even showing any type of love, any type of um backing. But see, this is what they do. But see, everybody wants to back Johnny now. But what if Johnny was, you know, now look at a situation with Deshaun Watson. Who didn't get convicted of anything but public opinion. And nobody's came out and apologized to him. No one's come out to say, yo, man, sorry for doing this, but it seems like people want Johnny Depp to get love or anything. And it's like, come on. You know, you the double standards is very sickening and very, to me, stupid. Um, People are going to say, well, this is just one woman compared to 24 victims. Um, They weren't victims. They all consensually had sexual relations with Deshaun Watson. Now, how that came about, what transpired in those rooms when they were with him, it was all consent and all was legal. So, Johnny Depp's going through his image being destroyed. Deshaun Watson's image was destroyed as well. Now, Johnny Depp, you know, they're saying he's not going to return, which I don't blame him. He shouldn't. 
Um, Disney basically didn't want to have his back, but now they want to have his back because everything's been clear. No, that's not how it works. Not at all. <clears throat> so... Now, exclusive Christian Bale and talks for fan favorite Star Wars role. Christian Bale is probably the most acclaimed actor to even get ripped to play Batman, John Connor, and former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney. Sorry, Ben Affleck. He has managed to maintain the delicate balance between critical appeal and pop blockbuster films for decades now. But there is one franchise that he has yet to crack that may change soon because our trusted and proven sources tell us that Christian Bale is up for a fan favorite role in an upcoming Star Wars project. Namely, we are told that Christian Bale is in talks to play the Star Wars The Force Unleashed protagonist Starkiller. The name Starkiller might not ring any bells for the casual Star Wars fan, but he quickly became a fan favorite after being introduced as the protagonist in the popular video game The Force Unleashed and its sequel The Force Unleashed 2. If Christian Bale does indeed take on the role of Star Wars Star Killer, he will be portraying one of the more morally ambiguous characters introduced in the now non-canon Star Wars Legends continuity. Star Killer, also known as the Apprentice and Galen Merrick, is a force sensitive who is taken by Darth Vader and trained to be his personal assassin to hunt down Jedi. Essentially, as Darth Vader is to the Emperor, Star Killer is to Darth Vader. The storyline of Star Killer within the Force Unleashed games and subsequent novels and comic books is one of the darker ones, even in a galaxy far, far away. He is the son of a Jedi killed by Vader in the post Revenge of the Sith, years and essentially programmed to be a remorseless killer. In various endings of the games, he either dies redeeming himself for the light side of the Force, kills Vader and becomes Palpatine's new apprentice, and is reborn as a clone version of himself. Fortunately, Christian Bale has plenty of experience playing tortured, violent characters and could easily bring the appropriate level of intensity to the Star Wars universe. Notably, this is not the first time that Christian Bale has almost appeared in Star Wars. The British actor himself has professed his lifelong fandom for the franchise and is said to have been one of George Lucas's top choices to play Anakin Skywalker in the prequels, which famously went to Hayden Christensen. Christian Bale was also up for a part in Solo, a Star Wars story, apparently to play the mentor of Alden Ehrenreich, Han Solo. The role eventually went to Woody Harrelson, but it actually sounds like Christian Bale has managed to dodge two Star Wars bullets so far. Lucasfilm has shown increasing interest in bringing in characters and story elements that were deemed non-canon during the Disney takeover of the company. As evidenced by the appearance of Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka Tano and the much rumored introduction of Grand Admiral Thawne. It stands to reason that the company will start mining the many popular video game series in the Star Wars non-canon, including the Force Unleashed series. This may be the best chance yet to see a feverishly intense Christian Bale wielding a lightsaber in Star Wars. So, would he make a great Star Killer? Absolutely. I think he'll do well as Star Killer. Christian Bale is um, an impressive actor. I thought he did well as Gore the God Butcher, but the people who directed and produced Thor Love and Thunder wasted his talent. You know, and it's such a disgrace because we could have seen more of him. We could have had a reenactment of Doctor Strange where the antagonist basically was the main character of the movie because they were going around butchering people and destroying others. So, you know, that's that's something that really, you know, pisses me off that they really didn't um, capitalize on Christian Bale playing that character in um, Love, and, Love, and, Love and Thunder. 
So I think he would do a well job. Now, this is the thing that comes into um, play. Are they going, how are they going to mix him into the story with Luke and all of them? Or unless they're just going to have him do his own missions and they don't include him with New Hope. Because remember at the end, you know, he turned Luke Skywalker when he chose the dark side. He chose, he, he turned Luke Skywalker into his apprentice. So what are we going to do here? Or is he going to let Darth Vader live and he basically turns into the light? Like he'll become a dark guy in the beginning. He's dark and cold and then he turns into the protagonist. And do, will, they, will they release a movie where we have him do the opposite where he basically turns evil and goes and hunts down Luke Skywalker, and he actually kills Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know, it could be so many things they could do with this story. I think this will be great. Um, I think it'll be good, especially with Christian Bale, you know, leading the way. You know, I want to know you guys' reaction. Do you think this will be good, or do you think this will be lukewarm? So thank you guys, man, for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can go to the description box. Hit that link to my cash app and donate whatever your hearts desire. Thank you guys, man, for your support of the page and continuously making it grow. And this is the DZ Report and we're signing off. Peace.